Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm Simswitch and welcome back to Gran Turismo Sport. Today we are doing Daily Race A, uh, Dragon Trail Gardens in the Nissan S13 and the 180SX. Um, so we're starting here from the back, not qualified for this one, uh, as it's my first race, I like to do that, um, see how it goes before qualifying. And this race was quite promising. So you see a lot of stuff not really happening, everyone's sort of staying in position um, through these first few corners, but it is starting to kick off, that guy getting a wiggle on, uh, and the guy on the outside getting shoved around a little bit. So just by sticking to the inside, we've also got that guy going slow up in front. We're going to make our way up into... P7, and that becomes P8 because that guy gave me a little tap and it didn't help that I have no clue where I'm breaking for that corner. Well, I do now, um, but going into this I had no clue where I was breaking. I was trying to break on the two cones, but that is an awful breaking point that they've lined up for you. You want to break on the 150 board, maybe just after it. So you're getting a really good run through that chicane but nowhere to go because the other S13 is sat in my way, the French guy. Um, and then trying to capitalise on him running wide but is it going to happen? He sort of bounced off me on the radar, I don't think he expected me to come back underneath. Um, but I didn't think there was any malicious intent by him and there definitely wasn't by me. Um, I just thought he was going to run wide and it didn't really do anything to upset either of us. So now we're looking up the inside, that's probably a really stupid thing to do. Um, that guy actually started on pole and he was on pole in the next race. Um, so he must have had quite a bad start like I did. So I was trying to follow him but I couldn't really get into his slipstream there. So here we're breaking looking around the outside of that guy trying not to do what the pole sitter did um, and I did have to break so I could not get around the outside and now we're under attack up the inside here from that guy uh, ghosting through him and I get a really poor run through there um, so all that hard work I had done was undone uh, so those two have an altercation there one of them actually ghosting back through. Now the French guy's back in front. So we've seen a lot of different members of the grid uh, for this one. Um, and here you can see I'm breaking in an awful place again. Although it seems to work out there, and I don't know why. Um, because when I was doing that uh, at other points, it really ran far too deep, and I wasn't locking up either. So I don't know. This corner, I quite like this fast flowing section. I seem to be quite strong at it, uh, unlike everyone else. It's, yeah, it just sort of parked where I wanted to be. Um, but he didn't seem to come off too badly from that. It's more this long corner that I'm poor at. So I can get the first two parts. This is the third part that I don't like. Um, and then onto the fourth part. So we're up into, oh, we're up into eighth. I thought we'd done better than that. We were up higher than that initially. Um, and here, breaking a bit too late, trying to break at the start of the curb. I think you want to break as that orange barrier ends. That guy's sending it up the inside. Um, and that allowed that other guy to push his way up the inside, which isn't ideal. Um, yeah, so we've now only got one person behind and the pole sitter. See the fastest laps are 57.5 uh, in the race. I think it's quite good. That guy spun out, and the French guy making a hash of turn one. So I'm actually going to go around the outside of him there. Uh, or try to. He's trying to cover me off. Uh, breaking on the cones down to third. Without that guy on the inside, I would have turned in earlier. Uh, they're getting a poor run through this chicane. And we're going to follow the South African who took quite a dive bomb at turn 
whatever number this one is up here. Six, turn six, I think. And yeah, I basically brake too late. Um, which is why I got confused about that braking point. Um, because I felt that I braked exactly where I did on the previous lap and I just wouldn't have the time to recover. Got a penalty for taking a bit too much of the track limits. So here is my qualifying lap, the best one I've registered. So they're starting with a 59.4 and so we're in fifth, shifting down to fourth and that I don't think is an optim optimum line. I think you want to be much tighter to the apex and you can take a few temps off. So here, dipping a wheel just inside that curb. There, I didn't actually go over that sausage curb. You can sort of straddle that. You don't really want to bump off of the final one in that chicane. Um, so I think there's definitely time in there. It's just I can't make it up myself. I can just tell other people how to do it. Uh, breaking on the 150, I feel that's where you want to break maybe a little bit too early. Uh, and powering out to the outside, as you can see, I've not, I'm not running any traction control, um, which might catch me out at some point. Um, so the ghost trying to go around the outside there, that is a clean line, which. Having got to know Grand Turismo Sport better doesn't surprise me, but it'd probably surprise someone who is new to the game that that is a clean line, or certainly new to the online, because I had the game for a couple of years before doing online, and it was getting used to online lines compared to what you can do against uh, the AI. Well, I didn't really do anything against AI, I mostly just did the driving school and the track places uh, so it's between like the 150 and where the start of the barrier goes orange uh, and then yeah you sort of take that as a double apex corner like the game suggests and run to the line straight as you can I'm not sure what was so good about that exit compared to the last lap um, but we we're over a second up for a 58 3 um, yes the lines in online need to be much more aggressive there. I thought I had traction control on for the start, um, but I didn't, so it sort of just spun its wheels. Uh, it's not like the Mini, well that, that was horrendous off the line, the Mini last week in Daily they say, but it's not like that in traction control. Uh, the front wheel drive, you didn't really, really need traction control. Uh, so this guy, getting in front of us off the start and this other guy, the Polish guy, I had a poor start as we saw um, and someone sort of pushed me on the tail and that dropped us off the top group, um, there's that guy who was in the previous race in first and I think he just drives away with this one. Um, so they're breaking on about those cones I felt. Uh, trying to get a cut back but getting too hasty on the power and I think that guy gave me a little push to uh, help um, get me out of the way and this is what annoyed me I'm much quicker through this section as you can see that Polish guy does not have a good line uh, even though he had the inside for that he didn't have a good line sort of having to compromise our exit here and there I was quite cautious on the power on that curb Otherwise, I think I could have got a better drive. Um, and now we're on to the final lap. So I managed to catch back up. I did fall quite way down the order um, from missing my braking point, basically, at this corner we're coming up to. Uh, but then I made up the positions. I didn't think it was worth showing any of that um, because most of the positions people were off track or. Yeah. So we're going nearly three wide into this one. I break where I think I should break um, and they don't break that much um, so I yeah that that was annoying I thought I'd managed to make him ghost out and I could drive through him um, I should have should have dipped out there that was I was yeah 
I was thinking it as I was doing it I should really back out and I ended up getting a penalty for that. Which is annoying because as you can see we managed to get the position and uh, I thought I've got a penalty I'll try and send it up the inside there. Um, and you couldn't really do anything because my car was there. Uh, and he tried to sort of spin me out. So yeah it wasn't the best move I don't think. I think it was more a desperation move. Uh, no, I've not felt too great today, uh, so my driving's probably even worse than normal. Uh, my head just—I've been feeling like light-headed and like a concrete block on my head simultaneously. I don't know. And that guy decides he'll shove me wide there. I suppose I sort of deserved it, but yeah, it's frustrating that I got knocked off the top group before the race even started because I didn't feel their qualifying times were too far away. I was closer to them than the group behind were to me. Uh, and then this one, we're going to start. Okay, not the best start. Um, as you can see on the radar, the people behind me mentioned to get close and upsetting the tail end of the car. The guy behind just giving me little touches there and that unsettles the car. I managed to cut back on this guy then slammed into me but the other guy got up the inside um, and I sort of took a good line through there uh, that guy clearly didn't because he was ghosted out at one point and now we're looking in front and hopefully we're gonna make this corner down here but knowing me I completely forgot what I was doing missed the 150 and break too late Oh no, that, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I think it was later in the race, I'd completely break too late. Um, so yeah, this guy, he was quick. He set like a 56 in qualifying, everyone else like a 58. So going through there, I felt I had a stronger line than him through there. Uh, I just didn't get off on the brakes enough there, and I put the power down too quick. Uh, while I, I think if I'd done it while I, the wheel was straight, it would have been okay. Um, and then I've got dirty tyres and I just didn't brake enough here. And yeah, it was just stupid. I shouldn't have done it. I ended up braking far too late. And we're going to see the final lap. Just because basically I was gaining. You can see the Brit up there. Um, he was off. So he sort of covered off that guy. That left me up into third, and yeah, I don't get the best run through here. I don't really know how that guy got away inside, but um, yeah, I think I ghosted through them and just managed to keep control. You can see on the radar there's three people, and I was trying to hold a central sort of line. Um, someone spinning out in the radar. And someone just completely punts me off. Um, I think it was the English guy. Uh, he just punted me for no real reason. And I couldn't really do anything from there. I'm too far off to gain. Um, so we're going to see this final sector. But yeah, I didn't have time to record anymore. So I'm really disappointed with this. I feel I could have won a race potentially. It's like the daily race. I recorded yesterday at St. Croix in Group 3. I feel I could have won a race there, so I think tomorrow is the last day I'll have to do Gran Turismo Sport for this week. I'm going to try and do a redemption video for that, and that will follow probably a week after this comes out. I don't want to bombard with this sort of stuff. So yeah, I was trying to make progress on the German here. I sort of went for a really late try and go around the outside but it didn't happen so i'm gonna leave it here thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh thank you for watching to the end i will be back for more of this uh hope you have a great day hope you enjoyed and bye for now